All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Oscar here again. Long time no see behind the camera, but um, today we're going to be doing um, kind of a little bit of a fun video, I think. So with chip collecting and all kinds of stuff dealing with chips, let's say you're a poker player. Um, when you usually go to play like a game, you get racks of chips. So each rack holds 100 chips. So let's say you have like a rack of fives. You're going to have a whole hundred chips of five. So <clears throat> basically, uh, I'm on this website right now, as you can see on the screen, called Poker Chip Forum, which is um, kind of like a place where people go to uh, talk about chips. I mean, it's basically like a poker chip community, collector chip community type of thing. So uh, we're going to kind of look through some of these. I was on here last night and my mind was blown as to what like people have around the world. So um, let's go ahead and look at those. I think we'll have some fun. We'll check out like the best racks in the world. Uh, let's do that one. So this video uh, will be just on like the best, most insane racks around the world. So uh, let's get into it. So um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Found. Okay. So like I was just looking at this one of a kind rack. So <clears throat> we'll go to the beginning. So this thread was started by someone. Obviously these people are just showing their racks. So like this guy's got a rack of uh, ceramic uh, 25 cent Seminoles, some Las Vegas hotel ones, Diamond Gym ones. These are pretty nice. They're kind of an older chip, but that's really nice to see them in that kind of condition. And I'll give it up to these guys. These guys that are on here, poker chip form, uh, probably like the best looking chips I've seen as to like outside of stuff that I do with work. But all these chips that these guys has, as you can see, they're all like mint. They're all super clean, super nice, super bright. Like these four queens chips are pretty hard to get and you only see them here and there, but this guy's got a whole rack of them. They're nice. I like how he took this picture too. Got the opposite colors and then these inlays are lining up. And so with these, Silversmith 50 centers, those are pretty nice. Monte Carlo twos, those are pretty hard to get too. You don't see them. Anything like this drop chips, uh, drop chips are pretty, I'd say hard to get because they're kind of hard to get out of the casinos. They don't really pop up too often. You have to be playing certain games to get them. Um, let's see here. Hacienda 5s, Hacienda 1s, Gold Coast Fractionals. Now these Kings Inn chips are pretty nice. 100s, 25s, 5s, Nevada 25s, Nevada 5s, California Hotel 1s, 25 centers. These Stardust chips, I've only seen a few, and I really, really want one, because it's... So this Stardust chip is a closing chip, I guess you could say. It's like, it shows the year that it opened and the year that it closed. So this was one of the last chips they used when they closed. Now this 5 is the same thing except the $5 chip, and I've been looking for one, one of these for such a long time, and every time I see it, it just... <whistles> see ya! <clears throat> now these chips, these Nevada Club Renos right here, they were made for some special guy. I don't know if they were made for like his own special time when he was there. He got to play with those or what? I think these are the same thing. They're just different colors. But some of these guys racks are insane. And I was looking, I can't exactly remember now what I was. Let's see, we'll go to forums. Uh, I think it was in this. So this is like this. I was looking at this Mapes owners one yesterday, or I think it was this morning. But anyway, so I've seen the one before, the five, the 25 money trees I've seen, but I've never seen this Mapes 100 right here. Now, this guy had a rack of fives and a rack of 25s. He didn't have them anymore. But then he goes Nevada Lodge 1s or Nevada Club 1s. New China Club Wands, Money Tree 50 Centers, Pick Hobson's, uh, it's the $5, and then you see El, Mar El Morocco Clubs. Then, scroll down a little bit, there's a racks of Wands, racks of Fives, racks of 25s, and then he's got a barrel of Hundreds, and then a few more down here. Now, I've never seen the Hundreds before, and it's super insane. And they're like brand new, all these chips are like brand new, but now most of these guys, if they have this, they're usually playing with them, which is really awesome to see. But even if they're playing with them, it's so like nice to see that they're in such good condition. Like this is insane. Two racks of ones. What is it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two. How many is there? One, two, three, four, eight. This guy's got 12 racks of fives, two racks of 25s. And then this, 
just it just blows my mind as to like what these people have but so i was looking at that then this dunes one this is pretty insane so all these left side chips over here are all baccarat chips 10 centers ones fives 25s hundreds and then he has all these individual ones he has all like all the decks it's crazy to see what people have nowadays sundance 25s with tropicana sundance 25s tropicana hundreds fives so riviera 50 centers dunes ones was it one two three four five six racks of fives 25s hundreds and 500s that's crazy now the thing is the ones i think most of the ones the, the dunes ones if they ever pop up here and there they're gonna be kind of like in this condition and if you're kind of able to find one that's in like brand new condition that's like a score right there but i always I, I think i'll always like the dunes chips they're really especially like these older ones they're really nice this guy's got five thousands and thousand bakras, five hundred bakras. I think those. Are, uh, yeah, I think those are five hundred bakras. No, they're not. I don't know. Anyways, see, I could spend like hours on this website, this site, and then eBay, and then there's another site called the Chipboard, which is a bunch of uh, collectors too, which they post on there what they're selling, kind of what kind of goes on their lives, everything like that. Here's another two racks of ones. See, they're not impossible. They're just out there. But I don't think anybody, once they get them, they don't want to get rid of them. Now, I don't, these aren't real. I think somebody, this guy had them made. See, like these dunes ones aren't real. The fives are real, twenties are real, hundreds are real. Whole rack of rack of $20 Bacaraz. Yeah, these dunes chips are nice. Wow. I didn't see this when I was looking, but those 25Ks are really rare. That's a lot of them too. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, fractionals and eh, I think I was looking at this yesterday so MGM ones threes threes are really if you ever see them they're hard to get and if somebody's trying to sell them on eBay they're really expensive and then these tens I've never seen in my life so that's crazy like this too now I think most of these people they more so like the large inlay ones because now they're using the smaller inlays but I think the large inlay ones look better it's like there's a whole barrel or rack of threes. This is really cool. He's got a case for the cards and then a case for the chips with the MGM line on it, which is really cool. And then he's got all these chips as well, which is awesome. And I think, yeah, this is the same guy. So he's got a chip cabinet where he has the racks displayed as well, which is super, super cool. Okay, so that's the MGM. I saw something else. Harold's Club. Oh, this TRK stuff too. Um, so this guy had custom chips done. TRKs are, uh, was a company that made these with the small crowns and large crowns. So TRK chips are usually going to be, uh, I can't exactly remember what years, but they're going to be older chips for sure. Um, now there's also people that want to only collect Paulson chips and TRK chips and all kinds of different chips, but TRK chips are really nice and they're really old. I mean, they're not really, really old, but they're old, but they have a really nice feel to them. <clears throat> and I think, I don't know, they're, they're super awesome. But all those Mapes chips, those are all TRKs. Like this guy's got Nevada Club 20s, Mapes chips, Nevada Club 1s, Nevada Lodge 5s, Palace Club 10 centers, Riverside 5s, Riverside 25s, all kinds of different stuff. And it wasn't just Nevada, they were TRK. TR King and Paulson, and all these different chip manufacturing companies have made uh, chips for all over the world, chips for all over the US. So there's like any country basically or any state that had gambling or anything like that could have had TR King chips, could have had Paulson chips, whatever. So um, these King's Crown chips are also really cool. I don't, if I remember the King's Crown never opened, but they, they had all the chips made. King's Crown 5s. So I think this, in, in this picture he was showing before he oiled them and after he oiled them to bring them back the color of the chips. And let's see what else is here. Calif I think, I don't know where those are from, but um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There was also <clears throat> TR King Single Collector Club, I looked at that. There was a guy that's been collecting Tropicana, well, here it is, Tropicana First Edition chips. So. This is what the picture he posted in 2015. So these are fives, 25s, 25. So there's two different types of 25s, the ones and then the hundreds. And I guess there's, was there two or three different types of hundreds? And then the 50 centers. But um, as you guys know, if you guys have watched my chip videos, I have one of the fives 
and then I have one of these red 25s but this guy's been trading and buying them constantly since like five years ago six years ago probably and see here's the other 25 like a green one and then here's a closer look at the one but these chips are hard to come by since they're from I think it was 1956 they were using these chips but Here's like a recent picture. So all these fives, all these 25s, ones, hundreds, different type of hundred, different type of hundred, and then uh, 50 centers. But what amazes me that they're all from 1956, they're all in like brand new condition. I don't think you're gonna see anything like this anywhere else. Maybe you might see them in person maybe one day, but you're not gonna see chips from like 1956 that are brand new in this condition, but um let's see all right i think that's gonna wrap it up i've been doing a little bit of jambling for like 14 minutes now but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more chip videos let me know down in the comments if you saw like a rack in here that maybe like made your jaw drop or something like that let me know which one that was down in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one peace out <laughs>